Hello, Nancy here. In this video, we'll show you how you can read the Boston Globe through the library and even get the news delivered right to your own email. To get started on our website, belmontpubliclibrary.net, I'm going to scroll down to our subject guide for digital resources. And here I'm going to scroll down to the section for newspapers. Here you can see we have a number of newspapers that we subscribe to. Uh, one of these is the Wall Street Journal, which I mentioned because if you like to read it, it actually behaves the same way as the Boston Globe. In this video, we're going to deal with the Boston Globe, so I'm going to click on that link. And here I'm going to go straight into the advanced search. And here on the advanced search page, we're actually going to kick off a perfectly simple search. I'm going to use the publication date field to select last seven days. And then I'm going to click off, kick off the search. So here we have the most recent results. Um, you can actually see here the date of the first article is March 27th of 2020, and that's actually the date on which I'm recording. And for the results that, excuse me, for the search that we did, we have 773 results, which is kind of a lot of information. If I wanted to here, I could enter some search terms to filter this down a bit. Um, say I were a sports fan, I could enter the term sport or something more specific like baseball or basketball. For this demonstration, I'm going to pick a nice cheerful term like friend, and I'm going to click on the magnifying glass. You can see what it did is it whittled down the results to a more manageable number, 128, uh, with the most recent article still here at the top. And of course, it highlighted the word friend in, in each article. Now, you may notice that this doesn't look like the Boston Globe website, and it's also not formatted like the newspaper, the print newspaper, uh, but you are getting all of the same information here. To view the actual article, all you have to do, of course, is click on these links. My brilliant friend remains transporting. And here you have the entirety of the article. Here in the upper right, you can also do a few things, such as save it as a PDF or email it off to a friend, print it, and so on. To show you one more thing, I'm going to go back to the search results. And this is the part where I'll show you how you can get this results, these results um, sent right to your email so you don't even have to come through the library. So up here at the top, there's an option called Save Search slash Alert. And if I click on that and choose Create Alert, it's going to bring up a form. And here, all I have to do is name this particular alert. send it to my own email. And then here in step four, I set the, the frequency with which I want to see the news. So I can choose to see a, a new set of links showing the most recent results on a daily basis, all the way down to as infrequently as quarterly. And here in this dropdown, I can select uh, when I want this to stop. I can choose to stop it in six months or a year. Um, also, if when you actually get the email down the bottom, there's an unsubscribe link. If you ever said, okay, this is too much news and I don't want this, you can stop it. So, so I encourage you uh, to create the alert because that also means that you don't have to come into our website. You don't have to go to advanced search and, and do all of that. You can simply get these links straight to your email and uh, you won't be prompted for any you know, card numbers. You won't have any limit on the number of articles you can receive. So uh, read, excuse me. So I think it's a very nice feature. So that is all we wanted to show you for this video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please send them to belmontpubliclibrary at gmail.com. And thanks for watching.